Hey, welcome back to the channel. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and today we have a national weather alert. Okay, if you live down here in Florida, which I know there's quite a few of you that do, we have a tropical storm wash that has been issued basically central Florida south. Okay, um, they put out this uh, tropical storm watch this morning for us. They keep moving the cone over our way. Um, I really don't think they know where this thing's going yet because from what I could gather, I'm no weatherman, but I can look at the charts and stuff too and kind of put one in, one together and I pretty much got two. So there's two areas, it seems like, that are going to be developing. You have the main area that used to be Zeta. I think that's how you pronounce it. And that was the hurricane that went down and came back up through and um, you have a looks like a almost like a low pressure that's gonna develop to the north east of that over towards the Bahamas and I guess then it's all gonna kind of push out towards the Gulf is there um, projection I should say at this point in time so which now puts us all the way over here in the cone of quote uncertainty I love that. So anyways, the reason I'm bringing you this video is, at this point in time, not knowing exactly what we're going to get, if we're going to get anything, or anything else, you want to make sure that you're prepared. So if you have um, any type of your emergency supplies as far as your emergency backup, if you have a battery bank, make sure it's charged, all right? If you have... Uh, communication, any radios, um, that type of radio, any little portable radios, anything like that. Make sure that they're charged or they have new batteries in them. Your battery banks are all charged. Your headlamps, your flashlights, all that kind of stuff. It's charged and ready to go or fresh batteries in there if you haven't changed them out in a while because we have been lucky here in Florida so far this year and all the hurricanes have missed us. So I think a lot of people have kind of let their guard down a little bit, especially with everything else that's been going on between the presidential election and with Charlie Victor 19. The hurricane season kind of got put on the back burner because we haven't had to deal with anything yet. The poor folks in Louisiana have, you know, they've been hit, what, five, six times so far this year. So we haven't had anything come up this way. Now remember, hurricane season does run through November 30th, and waters out over the ocean are still very warm. So it is very possible, and it's the way this year is going, nothing would surprise me that if something did develop and come our way. So as a prepper, make sure that you're prepped and you're ready, go through your stock. You should have plenty of food and water and that type of supplies. Double check like your first aid kits and stuff and make sure that you know where they are and make sure that you you might have took something out or something and you know moved it somewhere. Make sure that it's all together so you know exactly where your first aid kit is just on the chance if you had to have it or if you had to leave your home, you know, this way here you can just grab your first aid kit and take it with you. That's very important to remember if you have to evacuate is to take your first aid kit as plus your supplies and anything else that you can get into your vehicles you know but your first aid kit is very important because if something happens while you're trying to evacuate and you get stuck somewhere or something majorly happens and you can't get to a medical facility a hospital or anything else but it's not life-threatening and you can treat it until you can get to one of those areas to get somebody help, you have it with you. That's the whole point of having a really good first aid kit. I've done several videos on the first aid kit, um, so go back and check out one of those if you're not really too sure on first aid kits, if you're new to my channel, or if you're new to prepping, okay? There's more to it. So you wanna make sure that you're going through, 
you know, and just making sure that everything is topped off and it's ready to go. You have some extra batteries and everything else and make sure that you are paying attention to what's going on out there, people, um, because there's something brewing out there. The winds outside right now are blowing like crazy. I've already brought in everything from outside because it was just blowing all over the backyard to begin with. So I just went ahead and brought it all back in. You have today, looks like until early tomorrow, and then the shit hits the fan after that, and we're gonna get something. What? I'm not really for sure. Um, if it is something good, I will grab the GoPro and I'll get some video footage of it. So we'll have to wait and see. But until then, make sure that you're prepared, folks. This was your warning. Just make sure you're topping off everything that you have and make sure you check everything out and everything works. That's the important thing. Make sure it works. Survival preparedness for beginners. Till next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.